Hey friends, today I want to do a unpacking, building, highlights, and review of the Gold Mountain Imaginarium RC train. It comes with 19 feet of track. Uh, it's recommended 3 and older and needs 7 AAA batteries. The box seems very small, but this is very well packaged. The instructions are very basic. You have a uh, parts list, a layout, and miscellaneous. And your layout is basically what you're going to look at. That and the box to really get the build of this. The creases in the mat will play havoc with your track if they're not flat when you assemble this. Next, lay out all your pieces uh, that are in the box. Kind of separate them, figure out what's what. And like I said, it's very well packaged. The gold mountain is filled with pieces itself. The pieces themselves are not marked. So it's important that when you look at these pieces, you look at the size and the quantity to your parts list. Next, I would recommend gluing your mat to a something uh, to give it a little stability. And if you want to move the mat, um, make sure you glue the corners well and it'll just make it a little bit more durable um, especially the younger your kids are assembly find a point and start key make sure you don't save the middle for last also I forgot to mention if you have a eager toddler full of energy make sure you find something else for them to do or else they may be getting your pieces lost and making it harder for you to put this together. Back to the building and highlights. First, I want to talk about the Gold Mountain. The switch needs moved manually, however the gold balls do fall automatically and it's it's cool and i think the kids will enjoy it um might be a little complicated for a two-year-old or even three-year-old but once they grow with it and learn how to operate it i think they'll love it and you do have to push the uh thing the lever there to make the balls fall into the train also, it has a magnetic crane, which uh, it is a manual hoist, and it does take a little bit of effort. Again, for the younger kids, it might be complicated, but it's cool, and I think the kids will enjoy just the train driving by it. Next, the gold smelter that takes your raw gold and turns it into bars, which you can place in the buckets of your train. Bonus feature, you can add your existing wooden track to lengthen this track. You're not stuck buying additional track only for this. Next, your batteries. You're going to need two for your remote and three for your train. You just have the one screw on the bottom of the train and make sure your contacts are put it placed in correctly when you put your batteries in and your piece back in your train. Next, you have two you'll need for your smelter. Overall, I think this is a great purchase for right around $80 for a RC train for young kids, uh, beginners, with plenty of accessories and well built, not going to be easy to break. Um, so I hope this video has helped possibly with the assembly or the purchase. And I hope you enjoyed.